Hello everyone and welcome back to Horse Haven and we are here at the French Ranch, Flower Meadows Ranch, getting ready to put down some fresh beautiful blossoms into our fields and checking in on our beautiful pink Pisces. So last week I totally caved in and we got a brand new beautiful Pisces year two and so far I haven't had any luck of searching through all of our huge friends list trying to find a beautiful mate for him but I'm pretty sure I figured out a way to very quickly sort through all of you guys and figure out who's been active and who hasn't and who who just might have a beautiful Pisces that we can pair with our very handsome absolutely wonderful Hyacinth. So I finally found a great name. Thank you so much to Milk Toast, our awesome friend Milk Toast. She has helped us to figure out a good name for our horse since I realized last time that the lovely Pisces 2 Tier 1, oh my gosh, what a mouthful on its entire proper uh, like pedigree name. That is definitely just so much to say it sounds so official just like when you speak uh the official names for horses like racing horses or breeding horses or dogs that have been very fancily bred for several generations in the show world it sounds like that when you have to spit out like hyacinth the pisces 2 constellation horse tier one it's just amazing but anyway hyacinth now has a proper name and we have withdrawn the name malia until we are able to find uh, another female that we can hopefully have for the Pisces too. So far, no luck, but don't despair, Hyacinth. I'm sure we'll be able to find you a mate at some point. And we may spend a little bit of time looking for the perfect pink Pisces princess. Let that be a tongue twister for you. But I'm really eager to go back to the fantasy island and see what is going on with our unicorns and some of the other horses we have up there. So let me go ahead and peck away at a few. Ooh, I got some daily quests that we completed. Ooh, look at all those gemstones. <gasps> I really want that. Oh my gosh, that would be so helpful. Breed a horse in the French Ranch, harvest 11 carrot muffins. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll look at a couple people's ranches and try to find another Pisces too for Hyacinth. But if we're not able to, then my friends, I think... Eh, why can't I? Oh, he got the carrot. Oh, no, sorry about that. The carrot was being really stubborn. But then I think we will go ahead and breed up the normal Pisces because my birth horse is coming up. There's only six days and 20 hours left for the Pisces 2 year 2 horse and then it's going to fold in to the next horse. I believe, is that the Aquarius? It's probably not the Aquarius. Why can I never remember my own Eastern Zodiac? Or the Western, I guess is what you would call that. I remember the Chinese Zodiac because that's the one I'm more interested in. So I know I'm a year of the dragon, but I always forget like what belongs at the end of March. But in any case, that horse is coming up. In fact, if I open up my handy dandy horsepedia, that will actually tell me which year I, or like which constellation horse I am. Oh, oh, Yay, you guys, look at that. We just got a whole bunch of gemstones for having more horses in our horse collection. I will totally claim those. We can definitely use them. Put them to good use at some point. So Pisces, yeah, Aquarius was the one we just had. So that means the next up is the Aries. That's who I am. I knew that. I, somehow I, I just had totally forgotten that. So the Aries is going to be coming up and we will have a chance to breed it. My birthday is on the 26th and I really want to be able to get the Aries, which means we need to have some gemstones prepared to reveal the Aries family tree. And to do that, we must breed up our pedigree Pisces with their perfect pink... Um, I wish there was, is there a P word that I could use for describing the hair and the lovely coat of a horse? Because I need, I need one for my alliteration there. I need more of a perfect tongue twister. It'd be kind of fun to see if you guys came up with some tongue twisters, but you know how often I trip over my own tongue without even trying to make it a tongue twister. But that could make, um, that could make some, uh, definite entertainment at the very least. But at any rate, so in other words, we're trying to breed up all of these Pisces so that uh, mm, I think I needed those apples, but it's a done deal now so that we can sell them for diamonds because sending our lovely constellation horses out into the paddock so that they can prance about oh <laughs> see i really must be into tongue twisters today actually helps us a ton with raising them up getting them through levels and then as soon as they hit a next level we can sell them for diamonds but if we're not able to find hyacinth a mate then we will oh, and he is ready for some muffins i would be more than happy to offer him some but if we're not able to find him a mate then we'll go ahead and just breed the 
year one Pisces that I have because always constantly breeding your constellation horses and getting their foals to sell for diamonds is just really majorly going to help you out. Also, who's this? Maybe we'll make a new friend. Let's let's try out this new friend. Oh, this new friend has a unicorn. Let's go ahead and visit Jerome and let's see what kind of horses they have. I don't see a fancy pantsy. Whoops, sorry about that, you guys. I hit the wrong button. That's so embarrassing. Okay, I don't see a fancy pants Pisces uh, over here, but let's go check another ranch. We can offer to send out a friend in. We can always send out a friend invite. And for those of you guys who have been asking, Siri, how do I become your friend on Horse Haven? I answer this question quite a lot, but just to recap, we must first be friends on Facebook. Otherwise, uh, the accounts just don't sync. You need to have your Horse Haven synced with. With Facebook I believe and then I think you have to be friends either through the game house extension or you just have to be friends on Facebook and we also have to both be playing on an Android device sounds a little bit more complicated now that I say it out loud so what I'll do is I may even make a teensy little video just offering up what knowledge I have about being friends on oh look at the little foal oh it's so cute okay I'm so eager to go back to my island now okay it doesn't look like they have a Pisces darn I just don't know if Hyacinth is ever going to get a mate. But yeah, I'm beginning to wonder if there's something up with my friends list. So I apologize if you guys have been sending me friend invites. I have been accepting all of the ones I get, but I don't get very many anymore. So there's a good chance that my friends list is full. <gasps> Yes, but we'll have to do something about that. So what I was thinking of doing is I figured out if you go through your friends list, you can now see who has activated the island and who hasn't. And that will actually let me know, oh, that person isn't active anymore. So I will start weeding through my list and then the people who are not active anymore, I'm so sorry, but yeah, the people who are not active anymore, I can start removing and just uh, probably... Probably the ones I don't recognize. Like I recognize Kim, I recognize Sarah X Jane, and I recognize like the Sebastians. Oh, there's an unknown. Hmm. But see, there's a lot of people who haven't gotten the Fantasy Island, and that tells me they probably don't play Horse Haven anymore. So it would be safe to go ahead and remove them. And if I do that, I think that there'll actually be room to be able to meet with some of you who'd so desperately want to visit each other's ranches. So, oh, let's see. All right, little horses there. I was really holding out, crossing my fingers for a Pisces, crossing our hooves, but I don't think, I don't think we're going to find one. Oop. Whoa, where is everybody? I mean, this ranch is totally empty. So yeah, we're going to clear out the ghost ranches and start trying to locate some of the more active people that we can go and visit and breed horses with and try to pull some of you new horse haven breeders in under our wings as well. So that if you're new, you'll be able to find other people who are active and hopefully be able to breed up those harder to reach horses. Because what you see, in fact, let me back out and, and just cur like, ah, ah, I'm clicking all the wrong things. I'm so sorry. And just coo over this. But what you see in my ranch ranches are the result of almost two years of playing so if there's some way that I can befriend a whole bunch of you guys who are new who need access to certain horses to help you breed for the special constellation horses or other projects that you have I would love to become Facebook friends and horse haven friends with you guys again the only drawback is you need to remember you can only become friends Android to Android device or uh, the ISO to ISO device so or iOS, excuse me. ISO is if you're if you're in search of something, if you're in search of voice saving friends. That's what you could say. But all right, enough of this dilly dallying. It doesn't look like we're going to find a Pisces, unfortunately. And I have not shown the family tree. I'm not very good at this part. That's why I normally just save up diamonds to get it. But let me see. The sun belongs to the Leo constellation. Oh, it doesn't belong to any constellation. This is why I'm not very good at this. This is why I normally just spend diamonds to reveal the family tree. In astrology, which of the following is an air sign? Well, guys, as I get these right or wrong, you can learn from my mistakes and hopefully be able to answer these questions. I think it's the Libra. Yay! All right. In astrology, which of the following is the earth sign? I think the Gemini. No, it's the Taurus. Okay, now you guys know it's it's, it's the Taurus and not the Gemini. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Altair belongs to which constellation? Well, if you guys have been around for a long time, you know that happened to be one of our more famous wolf quest wolves that we had in the moon pack. But moving on, I think it's the Lyra? Nope. I got those all wrong, except for the Missouri Foxtrotter. That's why I tend to save up diamonds and just refill the family tree, cough, cough. But it also makes it easier for you guys. So hopefully we'll be able to do an update the day that the update hits in Horse Haven. We'll have to see if I'm at my brother's wedding or not. But all of that aside, let's breed up some lovely Pisces. Ooh, 
Let's see, apparently I'm also getting some honey. Let's breed up some lovely Pisces and move on. So we have Apple the third, and we are going to breed be breeding him with Sakura the second. Oh, oh you guys, I totally forgot about the thing they're doing. I totally forgot, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. The fantasy breeding event, I totally, totally, totally forgot about that. They're doing fantasy horse breeding events now. So if you have a Dutch Warmblood and an Irish Sport and you breed them, there's a chance you could get a glimmering fairy horse. Isn't that so cool? Instead of having to collect up the gemstones, you can snag your fantasy horses that way too. That's gonna be so fun. All right, so we're not working on that right now. Right now we're working on, eh, I need to reach my little, there we go, the breeding house. Right now we're working on our pretty purebred pink Pisces. Ooh, there we go. That's a good bit of alliteration. Nice little tongue twister to tuck aside. And it's all going to be tier three since those are both year one, tier one, or tier three. Uh, year one, tier three, Pisces. I'm telling you, these pedigree names are just a mouthful. But let's go ahead and get our daily, doo -doo -doo, our daily flowers added into the French Ranch. And then we are actually going to go up to the Fantasy Island because I have really been missing the Fantasy Island. I haven't been up there in quite some time. And I want to get to work with breeding up our beautiful unicorn and seeing what kind of other fantastic fairy horses we might be able to breed. So let's see, where are, uh, hold still, hold still plants. All right, I got you. These wiggly little flowers are trying to slide away from me and that's not how it's going to work. I want yellow flowers. Yellow flowers, there's white flowers. Do you guys see any yellow flowers? Uh -huh, gotcha. All right, got the yellow wild flowers and I'm just gonna put down one more. We always try to put down three to five flowers just to spruce the place up. And then I'm actually going to send hyacinth out into the field so that he can level up whilst uh, we're still searching for a gorgeous mate for him. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and move on. We're going to see over here, I need to go over to the German ranch really quickly and we're going to gather up the fruit feed so that we can do an exchange with this fine gentleman for some lovely gemstones that will potentially help us find some more fantasy horses. You collect up gemstones by going over on to the cloud race, which we're not going to do today because it does take a while, or you can go and meet with the wrangler and trade a whole bunch of items so that he requests to him in exchange for being able to work on those gemstones. So he'll give you some money. He'll give you some diamonds and he'll give you some gemstones totally worth it and he only comes i think every 12 hours so make sure you give him all of the supplies he needs as often as you can my friends wonderful horse haven tips provided by yours truly it's not like i'm that good at this game i just really like it all right so let's go ahead back up and we're gonna see what we're gonna work on we're gonna clean the paddock up. Oh my gosh, I forgot how this place is totally empty. I think what we're going to do is we are going to start sending down some of the unicorns. So I'm thinking fairy horses will stay up on the big island and then, oh, I forgot there's gemstones here. I need to collect these more often. All right, we'll get the mines going. We'll collect up some of these grapes just because they look so deliciously fresh. There we go, lots and lots of grapes, lots and lots of grapes. Do, 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 lots and lots of grapes. And then we've got some of the, oh no, storage is full. No, it's not the time for storage to be full. Tell me it isn't so, no, I just used up the apples I needed. Oh, cruel world, what have I done? What have I done? I needed those apples and now they're gone. I feel so silly right now, oh man. Um, Treehouse Market, do you have apples? Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. The Treehouse Market actually has apples. I have been saved. And they also have this delicious looking fruit salad. We'll go ahead and snag that. Looks like they have some presents left over from Christmas. Those probably won't show back up in the Horse Haven shop until next Christmas, but I'm okay. We don't exactly celebrate Christmas in July here. However, what we are going to be working on is making this into the unicorn fields. And I think that is going to be a really nice little twist. We might make it into like a little gnome mushroom magical crystal forest. I might finally put away the year of the monkey designs, like the little year of the monkey decorations I've had out. It's not the year of the monkey anymore. It's the year of the rooster, but we still have them out because I think they're fun. But this whole area is pretty empty. So we'll either move in the unicorns or move in some of my other horse breeding experiments. But enough of that babble. Let's go ahead, pop over, hand over these wonderful apples or radishes and the fruit juice thingies, the big just giant thing of I guess it's like canned what is it called fruit feed and we'll give it to the wrangler friend 
And we have gotten 800 coins and we've gotten a ruby instead of diamonds. And we have gotten one of the dream stones in exchange. So that should definitely help us out. And then we're gonna pop up to Fantasy Island and it has been a while. I have missed it. Are you guys ready to see our little unicorns? Oh my gosh, I haven't been here since the first day when we got so thrilled and we had to see all of the new things and I was rushing build after build after build. <sighs> Deep breath. Man, it's beautiful here. I wonder when I'm going to be able to open this up. Oh, that's so cool. All right, let's check on our horses really quickly. Everybody seems to be doing quite well. We have four horses up here. We have two unicorns and two fairy horses. I think this is a different type of fairy horse. Poppy, the glimmering fairy horse. That's right. Oh, and of course she wants apples. <laughs> Everybody wants apples today. Oh, but she's lovely. All right, Poppy, I don't have any apples for you. Give me just a moment. Let's go ahead and reveal the buildings. This is a gorgeous building. Whoa. Oh, and there's the tree. All right, let's go ahead and show off the trees. These are the brand new trees that come in this beautiful world. And then we have a couple more. <gasps> Look at those. These are the pavilions that you use to actually create the new food type that you can offer up to your fairy horses. And that is actually what this unicorn, Romeo the unicorn, is requesting. So he wants one of these. And let's go see what that cost to make if we that's the breeding house and if we come over here the flower treats factory can produce quite a few beautiful items including the sunny parfait and we need some special water drops some beautiful flowers and some delicious carrots in order to make the sunny parfait so to get the water drops and let me clear away the meal really quickly no, no, no. Okay. All right. Thank you. I, I want to see other stuff. All right. No, I don't want to watch the video right now. All right. Stable hand. Yay, leaderboard. Awesome. Alicia. Thank you to Alicia and all of you unknowns for coming by to visit my villages and petting my horses. Thank you so much. And then let's see. Social breeding. And then show off your champions. Okay. That's wonderful. And then yes. Okay. Very nice. All right. Uh, okay. Hang on just a second, guys. Ah, there we go. And now the whole area is clear so that we can just sit back and admire the glimmering crystals and the glorious rainbows and the just fantastic flowers that make up the lovely island of horses. All right, so let's pull back over here. And we are going to actually, actually, no, where did I go? Amber, I didn't mean to pop in here. You startled me. But here, if you want some radishes, my dear. Oh, I really love the Fantasy Horse Island, you guys. This could definitely become one of my happy places. Just all of the inspiration from the rainbows. I'm not even I'm not even much of a rainbowy, uh, crystally, jungly kind of person. Okay, I'm I, a few of those things I actually very very much am of. But I never would have thought that one of my favorite places to go would be a rainbow fall, unicorn filled, crystal jungle floating island in the sky. But that's what makes this such a wonderful surprise. So this is the waterfall and we have upgraded it. So let's go ahead and see how it's doing. And in order to make the food that we need, or I guess, yeah, that would be the food that we need for the horses. I need to upgrade the waterfall. You can like collect the water from it. So let's see, upgrade the waterfall to increase water drop output to six. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. All right, so we collect up the water drops using this bucket to get the water drops over to the flower factory. And that's how we make the flower treats for the fantasy horses. Um, I have over 1,100 gemstones. I always like to keep 1,000 gemstones in holding for my little uh, bank so that we have like a, a backup savings in case we need to just throw gemstones stones all over the place for something that's a limited time event so I think I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the waterfall because that sounds like a good idea I have no idea why there's little dust clouds coming but like when you upgrade a waterfall that's a good question but we won't think upon it too hard and then let's go ahead and open this part up so we have several flower factories we have some fresh flowers that we can pick off of these trees all right so it looks like yellow flower tree bell flower tree then we have more bell flowers and yellow flowers. And if I recall, and here's our storage, which only costs money to upgrade, so I will definitely get on that. And now would be a good time to actually upgrade the flower treat factories since they just cost money instead of diamonds. I only have three spendable diamonds right now, so I need to hold on to those. 
and then we'll come down and collect up everything out of the paddock there we go and i think my unicorns should be pretty happy but let's check now a tricky thing would be trying to breed my unicorns with some other fantasy horses so i think we may go in search of another type of fantasy horse today you guys and we'll have to see if we can breed perhaps plain jane the unicorn and i forgot before i even clicked on poppy that i don't have any apples <laughs> what is with you guys wanting apples today oh and some plain feed goldenrod's really hunting down some plain feed so i'll have to remember that um, all right. Oh, and I almost forgot to do our daily quiz. We haven't been doing those in a long time. What can I earn? <gasps> Food. The French word for horse. This one? <gasps> that was a total guess. I'm so happy. In mythology, which Celtic goddess protected horses? Apuna. Yay, I knew that from, um, Cough Cough Zelda, actually. Uh, when were Canadian breeds ancestors imported to Canada? <laughs> Darn, I missed it by a hundred years. <laughs> All right, that was a good guess and polite clapping on their end. So let me look at the shop really quickly. Yeah, we've got all the bell flowers, yellow flowers, breeding house, and flower treat factories we can for here. And then the fantasy towers, the fantasy pond, normal ponds. I totally forgot about these. Just look how beautiful they are. How could I, I resist? I need to put down like a few of them. Let's go ahead. I want a normal pond maybe over here. Oh, they're just so pretty, you guys. There's just so much we could possibly decorate with. I mean, look at this. This is gorgeous. Here, I actually want to turn the normal pond like this. Oh, I could I could just I could just frolic here for ages. Frolic around trying to make the whole area pretty. What else can we get? The unicorn shrubs. <gasps> the tropical plants. How did I forget about the tropical plants? I'm so excited right now. There's even large tropical plants and palm trees. There's palm trees. I can put down palm trees by my unicorns. It's like some of my favorite things smushed together into one beautiful creation. Columns, cobble piles. Oh, these cobble piles are pretty too. Hey, I don't even know where to begin. There's just so much to pick, you guys. We may have to have a day of just decorating with all of the choices that we have. Let's see, and then it's all the normal stuff again. That's fine, I want the shiny things. Eh, let's climb back up. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. Look at the fantasy pond, for crying out loud. It has gemstones all over it. So we may save up some of our gemstones and we may try a really fun day of just decorating Fantasy Island. And perhaps to get some ideas for that, let's go dive off and visit another person's Fantasy Island. Wee! We really jumped over there. And who's the first person with the Fantasy Island that I know I can go visit? And we can get a little bit, aha, uh -huh, Amy! And we can get some inspiration from, and perhaps even a nice horse to breed with. Oh, wow, yeah, this is some inspiration, all right. Amy, wow! Oh my gosh, look at the way she's put this, oh my gosh, there's definitely been some care and affection that has gone into this place. This is really lovely, Amy. I am really impressed. Oh my goodness. Look at that. That looks like a, a crystal river pond waterfall place that has been well taken care of. I am super impressed, Amy. Wow. Let's see. Who could we breed with the sunlit unicorn? There's also the glacial fairy horse. And over here, are the lava unicorn, who I think would be really fun to actually have in our desert branch. But let's try the sunlit unicorn. She seems beautiful, Sonya, the sunlit unicorn. And what happens if we breed her with goldenrod? So let's try that out and let's see what kind of babies they might have. And there's a chance that we will get a jade fairy horse. There's a chance we will get an amber fairy horse. And there's a chance that we will get a sunlit unicorn. I'm personally hoping for the sunlit unicorn. So let's go ahead and spin and see what our next fantasy foal will be. I could see myself getting completely addicted to just the fantasy foals. <gasps> it's a brand new one! Jade fairy horse! I don't think we've had a jade, like we've had a jade fairy horse before. His name is Sam. That's oddly enchanting that it's just such a simple name. But thank you so much, Amy. Oh, I'm so excited. And let's go back to our fantasy island. 
And that will be that for now, you guys. So we are working on updating the Fantasy Island. I think I'm going to be saving a bit of money and I'll be popping in and collecting up as many flowers as I possibly can. So hopefully we'll have a good bit of flowers. We'll have a good bit of storage. I'll get some things upgraded behind the scenes. And then we'll come over and see what kind of adventures. Maybe we'll do a little bit of racing and just work together to make sure that we have the resources ready for some of the big adventures that are going to be coming up in the future. So I hope you guys are also having a wonderful time with your horse haven adventures and i will see you all next time bye bye